Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Here we have a case, uh, 68 years old, with the exceptional dyspnea and uh, sometimes head lightness. We are doing a scanning the patient, uh, as you can see here, and you get plaques. Now, uh, focus on the all detail. Based on this image, which of the following uh, measurement for LV is correct? This one. All of them at the same time. This one. This, this, or this one, or this one. And why? You are doing a zoom based on the finding that on the plaques you see, you, uh, you are zooming on the aortic valve and mitral valve level for measuring LVOT. Based on this image, which of these measurements is correct for LVOT? All those measurements at the same times. This one, this one, this, or this. And what is your guideline for measuring and selecting any of them. Then you put uh, color on the aortic valve. You can see, beside of calcification, you can see some AI and turbulence at the stenosis. Can we do continuous Doppler on aorta on this view or not? For any of them, yes or no? Why? Then you go back and you see it ascending aorta dilated. You measure it and you can measure this way. And you're measuring, if assuming the measurement is correct. Is that our evaluation for ascending aorta is done or we have to do something extra or not? Why and what is that if we need to do extra study on this view? After uh, finishing plaques and all uh, evaluation in that view, you go PZAX and you get this one on the aortic valve level. Can you guess is that patient has what grade of the aortic stenosis? just based on this 2D and color image. And what is this color positive shift here related to? Based on those finding on plaques and PZAX, you decided to do some extra image on the apical uh, window. You get it this one. For, the, for those reasons you did uh, all those study on apical, you go extra study beside of the classic. What is this view, first of all? Second, what is this two uh, cylindric shape uh, with the color on this image? And why we did this one? Based on those findings, you decided to go and do abdominal aorta. This is a longitudinal abdominal aorta at the level of the mid, mid abdominal is longitudinal and you put color first of all what is the diagnosis what is the color pattern called in this area and the last one you do pulse doppler at the proximal of the aorta and you get this one what is this pattern represent and why now let's see and find the answer for all those questions 